It, it feels great. Yeah, it's it's you know it's nice to I don't know get recognition. That's what you do as an artist. You seek recognition in some way. You seek validation, that sort of thing. And I suppose an award is yeah, it's nice. It's lovely. It's really nice. And um, to be recognised by the Q readers, does that? Yeah, I mean that's a wonderful thing. You know, Q has always has always been uh, you know a really key part of the of the music industry since I since I've you know, real key tastemaker, I think, since as far back as I can remember, really, God. It's always been, you know, just a, a, a real kind of like, sort of like home of quality journalism, which is really, really important. I think as we go into the internet age, um, journal, the quality of journal, journalism, you know, it, it, it's dropped, let's be honest. You know, there's lot, the, 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 the less money there is in the music industry, you know, the less people are getting paid, the less money is to spread around. But I think Q, the, the, the writing is still fantastic there, and I think good writing about music is so so important. Keeps and it. And having that forum and that that sense of debate is really yeah, important as well. Yeah. How are you going to celebrate tonight? <laughs> Let's talk less about Q. Do you do you go hard nowadays, or do you take it do easy? I go what, hard? Do you go hard when you are you celebrating? Do you go hard or do you go home? Do I go hard or do I go home? I go sort of somewhere in the middle. Okay. I go, I, you know, I'll go out for dinner or something like that. That's, you know, yeah. I, I don't, I, I don't do hard anymore. That's, that's, that, I'm too old for that. And uh, you know, it's, yeah, you know, I'll go, out, I'll go out and, and have, have some dinner with some friends and just relax. And because it's, it's kind of, it's noisy. It's great, but it's, it's so noisy, and I'm, I get disorientated because I'm getting a bit old now. You know, I want to get home, get in front of, 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 of homes under the hammer. Put my put my tartan rug over my knees and sort of sit there. You know. Is that your program of choice? <laughs> Is that your TV of choice? <laughs> no, I'm I'm pulling your leg, yeah. Um, what's happening music-wise? Um, well, we just had released a new album um, that came out in in September, which uh, I was very proud of um, and did okay and. Uh, uh, and people seem to like, which was nice. Um, and we just finished the tour literally three days ago. Uh, next, music-wise, well, we've got a documentary, a major sort of sky arts documentary coming out, uh, coming out about us in in November. So that's the next thing that's sort of going to be public. After that, I suppose we just start writing the next album. It's always uh, it's always about writing the next album for me. It's always about. You know, you're always chasing the next thing. You're always kind of like, you know, it's, it, it, there's never an end point to it. It's always like you're always looking for the next good song, the next great record, the next idea. You know, so that's so what I'm doing you, next. You never see this finishing. You never think there's going to no. come to no. No, no, no. There's no. There's never a sense of for me. There's never a sense of like I don't want to retire. You know, retirement's sort of like it, it isn't. I, I, what I do as an artist is it, it so much defines me that if I stop doing it. I might as well just stop what existing. What else would you do? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I'll always carry on writing in some form, and, and I'm always looking for the next sort of like thing to write about. What? I'm um, always looking for things to to, to 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 write about that that I think are interesting. It gets harder as you get older um, to find those things. When you're a young man, you know, you write about the the, the the conflicts of life, the romance, the you know, the crazy nights out, all these sorts of things. As you get older, your life gets safer. But in lots of ways, there's lots, still lots of fear, there's still lots of paranoia, there's lots of things still to, to document, and I'm looking for those things. So what, what do, are you going to write about? What is it that you, you feel like you want well, to I mean, express? The, I, I don't know what I'm going to write about on the next record, but the last record, uh, the last couple of records have been very much about um, sort of parental paranoia, about being a parent and, and, and that not being a state of um, harmony, it being a state of paranoia, a bit, you know, being the fear of, uh, that comes with being, in a, being a parent, these sorts of things. So I'm trying to look at everything from, you know, I can find the, I can find the, find the dark side in anything. No, it's true though, everyone who's a parent, I'm a parent, as soon as you have kids, you worry about everything. Exactly, yeah. there you go, you yeah, see, yeah. it's not this, you know, so that's what I'm looking for. Well, it's great to talk to you, Brett. Thank you very much and congratulations. Cheers, thank Cheers. you.